Hello everyone, this is my 1995 Geo Tracker. Ah. Today we're going to do something a little different. At least I wanted to do something a little different. And that is I wanted to clean out my evaporator. And I did that with this stuff right here. Evaporator and heater foam cleaner. Helps remove odors and contaminants, leaves clean, fresh scent, and it does. Uh, maximizes heat, cooling, efficiencies, fast and easy application, and it is. So, um, I wanted to try this stuff out today. And as you can see down there, I hope you can see, there's my hose. And <clears throat> you shove this little hose right here. This clips on here, pushes on there, right? And then you shove the end of that hose up in that hose and blast away. <laughs> and that's what I did, man. So this is the instructions. Uh, they tell you that uh, it removes mold and all other kind of stuff like that. So, great. Um, and then I was hoping, not that I had any problem with it smelling bad or anything, but I was hoping, sorry y'all, I was hoping that uh, it would uh, do as it says right here, maximizes heating and cooling efficiency. So anyway, um, that I'm not too sure about just yet. I just cleaned it. The way you have to do it, the directions say, is to um, always read the directions, by the way, on everything. But um, the directions say it is to spray it in there with the engine off. And let it sit for 15 minutes and then after 15 minutes start your car up but have your AC on low and let it run for five minutes and uh, and it'll look it's still kind of dripping and it'll drip out all the stuff after it cleans it and whatnot so it's called cool it and um, O'Reilly's had this so, you can find it on Amazon as well, but let me show you uh, what dripped out of that thing, or at least what I caught coming out of that hose. And uh, it all dripped out, and this is it, right here. This is what, this is what came out of um, inside there. Look at all that crud in there, man. You see all that black chunks of stuff? And uh, almost looks as dark as a Dr. Pepper, doesn't it? Anyway, so that dripped out of there. And I mean, it has got some nasty stuff in there, bud. So, um, yeah. Not a bad little deal just for doing that. I mean, it, it definitely poured out some yucky stuff. And it, it, it kind of has like a mint uh, smell to it. Uh, not a new car smell, but like a, a mint smell, and uh, it's okay. So I wanted to show you guys this uh, today, because I certainly had fun doing it. And I'll let you know if uh, my AC starts running a little cooler. It is blowing cool air. And on uh, my previous video, I am going to uh, I got my fan in for my condenser to actually start. Um, so I need to pull all this off and put on my fan and then perhaps add some more Freon to it and um, hopefully I can get this baby running some cool air man and um, blowing good cold air anyway I mean it's blowing cool but it's not blowing cold and we got to have a cold man in southeast Texas let me tell you so in the meantime, what I've been doing is calling around different places. I've even got on um, uh, one of the tracker clubs on Facebook and asked for if anyone knew the specific size of this radiator because they tend to run in different sizes for this year model from different OEMs. I don't know why but evidently everybody has a little bit of confusion as to what specific 
radiator size this is and a 1995 geo tracker 4x4 automatic transmission two door 1.6 nobody can give me a specific place to buy it from best place to buy it from and uh, the physical size of this because my idea is I'd like to have the radiator here change it all out at one time that way I'm not down in my car man you know um, start to rip it apart and everything and wait for the part the part gets here and it's the wrong size radiator then I have to send it back again we don't want that so anyway thank you guys for joining in tonight the audio master show if you have, haven't hit that subscribe button please do so now because we're going to be going over a lot of different things that I'm going to be doing on the tracker and you can check out some of my previous videos on the tracker if you want if not that's cool too but I will say this man uh, I'd like to get this thing uh, change out as much as I can change out on it that way when I get on the road I'm not having to worry about these hoses busting I did get the top hose the other day there's another hose right there and there's actually three hoses that connect to the motor off of this radiator I got all three so as I get into the motor I'd like to change out things I can um, the compressor still works I don't want to spend the money on that if it's still working the alternator I did find out it's a, it's about in the middle of the road it's getting weak but it still works so I'm gonna have to be changing the alternator out so it's, it's like in my in my mind I'm thinking fan the condenser it's okay seems to be uh, change out the radiator change out the hoses change out the alternator I already have new belts on there so anyway I'd like to get a lot of this cleaned up that way I, you know I can get on the road and, and drive it a little ways and not have to worry about uh, overheating or something like that so I may even change um, the thermostat in here out uh, while I'm changing the radiator out. But I will say, man, if you guys know where I can find the specific radiator, best price, physical size, the whole nine yards, maybe even a phone number, put down there in the comments so I can call these people and uh, actually talk to somebody or get them to send out the specific size that I need for this puppy. But yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys. Normally I'm going over audio and whatnot, stuff like that. So if that turns your buck, man, come hang out with me too. But uh, in the meantime, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Oh, be sure to hit that subscribe, man. Thumbs up. Give me a share for somebody else to, uh, you know, that maybe would like to do something uh, with their tracker. Trick it out or whatever. That's what I'm going to be trying to do is get it back in order at least uh clean it up let's just say that let's just clean it up it's she needs a clean up man <laughs> it's time need a little maintenance done anyway i appreciate you guys and we will see you later